Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna be setting up to paint a color wheel. So first we have to draw it. Let's get started. So you're gonna start out with a piece of paper that's about the size of computer paper. I'm using cardstock. If you don't have cardstock, it's okay. You're gonna fold it in half from the top to the bottom horizontally. Then we're gonna use our ruler and we're gonna draw a line down that fold. For this video, I'm using a Sharpie, just so that you can see it really well. You can use a pencil if you would prefer. Now I'm gonna take it down from the top to the bottom and I'm gonna fold it in half again. I'm folding it vertically this time. And put a little dot right in the center so I know where the center of my paper is. That's gonna be important later. Now I'm gonna use my ruler and I'm gonna line it up at the top of the page when it's facing vertically. And I'm going to make a mark at two and, at two and six and a half. So make a little dash at two and one at six and a half. They should be touching the top of the page. Now I'm gonna slide my ruler down to the other end of the paper and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm gonna make a mark at two and at six and a half. Make sure that your ruler is lined up with the edge of the page. Now I'm going to connect these together. So I'm rotating it to where it's comfortable for my hand and I'm going to line up one of them with another one on the other side, making sure that they cross the center point. It's important that they cross the center point. You're basically create, making an X. I'm doing the same thing on the other side. I'm just trying to get my ruler and my paper arranged to where it's comfortable and easy. And you've just created an X. So far, your paper should look like this when it's facing horizontally. Now I'm going to turn it vertically and I'm going to put a line where that crease was. Right down the middle of my page. So now I'm making a mark at two and a half and at eight and a half. My ruler is lined up at the edge of the page with the top of the ruler at the top of the page. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Make a mark at two and a half and eight and a half. If you're not sure where that is, it's directly between the two and the three and it's directly between the eight and the nine. Now I'm going to connect them across the center point. You wanna make sure that they're actually crossing that center point and lining up. If you run into a problem like I did here, where if I cross it, it won't line up with the center point, you wanna make sure that it does line up with the center point. So push your ruler until it lines up and makes a perfect triangle. And if that means that the measurement's a little off, that's fine, but you want it to be a perfect triangle in the center. So this is what your paper should look like. I've rotated mine horizontally. We're gonna count them. You should have 12 total. So if you have 12 total pie pieces at this point, you know you've done it right. Now we're gonna divide our pies into three sections. And you can do that however you like. Just make sure that you have enough space to paint in each one of the sections. So this is my first section. Now each pie is divided into two. This is my second section. Now each pie is about to be divided into three. So now you can see each pie is divided into three sections. Now we're going to label it. We're going to label it in the order that the colors fall on the color spectrum, and it is absolutely vital that you order them in this order. You can start wherever you like, but they have to be in this order. Otherwise, your color wheel will not work properly and you will not be able to blend the colors on the next step. So copy what I'm doing.
And you'll notice I'm writing them in the middle. This is where the hue will be, which is the color itself. Now each individual section has a space for tint, which is the color plus white that goes in the center. Hue, which is where I'm writing. That's the color by itself. And then shade, which is the color plus black. That's on the outer ring. So it'll look like a target when we finish.